Hi, my name is Andrea with Foodimentary Adventures in Food. In my household, there's me, my husband, and our adorable three-year-old little boy. On our channel, you'll find simple and tasty recipes using everyday ingredients. Hey guys, so for dinner tonight, Howard grilled some sausages. So in the freezer, I had just a couple of these better cheddar in the freezer. I had just a couple of the hot links in there. And then I had an entire package of this cheddar chicken sausage from Trader Joe's. So this is the cheddar chicken sausage. These are the two hot links. And then these are the two uh, better cheddars. And then we are having some chips on the side. So Howard is gonna have these Funyuns, spicy queso. He really likes them and so do I. Um, and then I am trying to finish off this big bag of Annie's extra cheddar cheesy smiles that I actually got for Harrison thinking he might like them and he doesn't. So I just wanted to show you what these sausages look like before I made our plates. Okay, so here are our plates. This is Howard's plate and he has a Johnsonville and then he has the chicken um, sausage. And here are the Funyuns. Now this bag, for some reason, they were all kind of crunched up. Um, but again, they are very, very good. And then, oh, he just has um, ketchup on his. And then this is mine. I just have a hot link. I did try the chicken sausage and it is very good, but I don't want to eat both of them at one time. Just got some mustard on mine and the cheese puffs. So this is what we are having for dinner tonight and we will see y'all next time. Okay. Hey guys, so for dinner tonight, I grilled some chicken legs. So in my pantry, I had some of this um, McCormick Grillmates Mesquite Marinade and it is very tasty, has a great flavor. Serving it with a side of green beans with some bacon and bacon fat and some pastaroni using this one, the angel hair pasta with herbs. So this is what we are having for dinner tonight and we will see y'all next time. All right, so most of our dinner tonight is courtesy of Trader Joe's. So we are having these beef kebabs that I've had in my freezer for a while. And here is what the package looks like. You get quite a few in the package and they're pretty big. Um, so this is what's left after we've served our portions. Um, <clears throat> excuse me, let me show you the ingredients on the back. Ground beef, onions, eggs, and other stuff. But as you can see, the main ingredient is actually ground beef with lots of spices, coriander, black pepper, cumin, nutmeg, etc. And um, we are having a side of rice pilaf, also from Trader Joe's, really like the rice peel off a lot. Sorry, my allergies are acting up. And then we are having some non rounds. I found these a long time ago at Kroger and then I stuck them in my freezer and I cooked them in the air fryer um, and put a little bit of butter on them when they came out. And I also made the kebabs in the air fryer as well. There are air fryer instructions on the package. And then on the side, I made a little bit of a yogurt garlic dip didn't really have a recipe for it but i did happen to have some plain yogurt in my fridge and to that i added some garlic paste and lemon juice and salt and then we are just gonna serve it on the side so this is what we are having oh and leftover green beans so this is what we are having for dinner tonight and we will see y'all next time Hey guys, so we are having a very simple dinner tonight using up some stuff from my pantry and freezer. So I am going to make half a package of this angel hair pasta. It's a 16 ounce package and I've got some rotisserie chicken breast here and I they're fully cooked, but I am just going to saute this in the pan with a little bit of olive oil, get it nice and brown. And then to the skillet, I am adding this jar of just the sauce carbonara um, and it's uh, pancetta and a pecorino cheese sauce. Howard really likes it a lot. So I'm just gonna combine everything in the skillet and it's gonna be a quick and easy dinner tonight. Okay, so here is our dinner, quick and easy to throw together. I did decide to add some green onions in there 
and you may be able to see a piece here or there. And then on top, I just sprinkled a little bit of fresh parsley. I think I forgot to mention that this sauce is from HEB, which is a grocery store that's here in Texas. So it's not something that's available everywhere, but there's actually no meat in here, but it does have the flavor of the pancetta. So that's why it's called just the sauce. So anyway, this is, that is my poor Harrison. He's coughing, he's not feeling well. But this is what we are having for dinner tonight and we will see y'all next time. Hey guys, so for dinner tonight, I am making this coconut shrimp on garlic butter rice. I have made this a time or two on our channel, but it's been at least a couple of years ago. But I found this recipe in my local newspaper probably about five years ago, and it uses the Uncle Ben's Flavor Infusion Garlic and Butter Rice. They no longer make that product, so I had to make some modifications. So instead of that rice, I'm just gonna be using this Tony Sasseri's Butter and Herb. Um, it calls for a cup of the Uncle Ben's. This box of rice was almost a cup, so um, on top of that, I just added in some regular old long grain um, parboiled rice to make it a cup. And then it calls for um, chicken broth, coconut milk, um, paprika, and a red chili paste. And it also calls for some shrimp. And it calls for coriander, not gonna be using that. Coriander um, is the seed of cilantro, from what I understand, and Howard doesn't really like cilantro, so I'm not gonna be using that coriander, but everything else I'm gonna use. So let's throw it all together. Okay, so I've got my broth, my coconut milk, and my spices, and my um, red chili paste in there. And I wanted to show you what the Tony Sasseri's rice looks like. So it has all those seasonings. So I'm gonna stir this all up and let it come to a boil. And then it says to let it cook for 10 minutes and then add in the shrimp. I remember last time I did that, um, when I added my shrimp after 10 minutes, it was overcooked because my rice wasn't nearly done. So if I were you, I would advise you to wait to add your shrimp um, make sure your rice is almost done and then add your shrimp to it. Okay, so it's been about 15 minutes. My rice is almost done. Now I'm just adding in my shrimp and I'm going to cover my pot right back up and then just let it cook until that rice is done and that shrimp is done. Okay, so I have dinner all plated up and I will make sure to leave the recipe in the description box. It is really tasty and it's a quick one pot meal. Serving it with a Caesar salad from Walmart. Here it is. And it's large enough to where Howard and I can eat off of it twice. Harrison doesn't eat salad, so that's a paper towel you see in there to um, um, absorb the moisture. But I just made half of this salad, so half of the ingredients that uh, came in the package and then half of the salad and we'll eat it another time, but it's a pretty tasty salad. So this is what we are having for dinner tonight and we will see y'all next time.